What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I am going to be doing a Capriati's Bobby Mukbang. I realize Capriati's might not be nationwide, but I'll go over what's in the sandwich. It's one of my favorite meals to have and also what I got with it. Um, so first, we're just going over the sub. So the Bobby is basically Thanksgiving in a sandwich. So you have in there, let me see if I can go focus. All right, so you got turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, mayo. Now the turkey is super fresh. It always is. I never had a problem with this sandwich ever. Um, yeah, it's just the, the bread is always fresh at Capriati's. It's a, it's a very reliable a location I've gone to since I've been uh, since I've been a little guy, like like you know, around middle school age. Now with it, I always get the same thing. I'm a simple man. Um, I got cherry Pepsi. Now I don't know how it works with the branding, so that's why I'm not. Oh, man, that, when that when that cracks open, oh, that soda just cracks open. And then I got. Um, Salt and vinegar. Now this place I went to, they normally, the place I normally go to Capriati's, they always have salt and vinegar and sherry Pepsi. It's just a thing. This one did not. That's cool. I just went, you know, a couple stores down and got it. Um, but I always get salt and vinegar chips, cherry Pepsi. So I'm going to dive right in um, and eat this wonderful sandwich. That's terrible. I get too much satisfaction for that. I don't know why this combination of food hits it just does. Hope y'all having a great start to your week. No, man. I don't know what the weather is like where y'all are, but it's pretty hot right now. I'm just trying to plow through and get to the fall. It's all good. Won't be long. Now with some sandwiches I get, specifically like PB&J, when I can make a PB&J, I always put like the chips in the sandwich. I, don't, I used to do it with this one too, but I like it better like, you know, just kind of spread out, laid out. Mm. The cranberry, the stuffing, the turkey, perfect blend. Now when I, when I first learned about Capriati's and started going there, I didn't get this. I didn't like stuffing at Thanksgiving. It's like my least favorite thing at Thanksgiving. And my mom would always get it. Now one day there was nothing else to eat in the house and I ate it, I fell in love with it. Now the cheesesteaks are pretty good, to be fair. I gotta do a soda challenge where I just don't do, this is like my own solo, no soda for like a month. I gotta do it. But then, 
I go to the movies. How, how can I not get like a cherry Coke at the movies? Uh, one question um, I forgot to answer yesterday on um, my favorite meal. Now, my favorite day-to-day -day meal that's readily available, um, I love pizza um, and a good cheeseburger and fries. So that's all I need, something simple. It's a good, a good slice, it does me well. Now my favorite all-time meal, back when I got out of college, I was lucky enough to go to Italy. Very, uh, very blessed to have that opportunity. And I ate in Italy across the board. Best, one of the best food cities out there. Everything's fresh. Uh, but I was with my family, but one day I went out by myself and I'm out walking around, taking pictures, just, you know, just hanging out, enjoying the scenery, enjoying the feel of the city. I got hungry, naturally. And um, I stopped off at this, this little cafe Nothing special, little, you know, this place on the corner. I get penne with like a meat sauce, like a meat gravy, like sauce, you know, tomato sauce. <sighs> Best meal I've had to this day. Solo meal, nothing, nothing touches it. One, it was so fresh. The pot, I never had pasta as fresh as I did when I was in Italy. It's like they make it daily. It's like not in a box. Like they are making that pasta in the morning. The tomatoes are fresh off the vine. Like the meat is fresh. Everything is so good. And I, I when I was there, I ate nothing but pasta and meat and gelato and wine. But I never felt bloated. I never felt uncomfortable. Mm. It was just, it was just very satisfying. I, f I wish I could remember the name of the cafe. I'm sorry I don't. But if you are ever going to Italy, eat it up, eat it up, morning, afternoon, night. Don't go there when you're on any type of diet or you're changing like the way you eat, your nutritional values, whatever. Do not do that. Not surprisingly, when I was in Italy, everybody's in pretty good shape. I'm like, how is this possible? How are y'all eating pasta every day? Carbs, drinking wine. One thing they do over there that I really like, at least where I was, in the afternoon they take off. It was very chill in the afternoon. Like, there's like a three hour break for like lunch. You go home, you eat with your family, you take a nap. It's just like, you know, it's just, you need that for your mental health. And we don't do that here in America. It's very, buh, 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 buh. you know, get work, 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 work. We need you know, product, productivity, productivity, but they're not worried about your mental health. They're not worried about, you know, Taking care of yourself. But yeah, that was my favorite meal. Oh my goodness. So good. Now, Q's wings that she made, and she's gonna make these some. Hers are up there too. So those are those wings she made. When she first cooked for me, oh my goodness gracious. The meat falling off the bone. It took forever for them to make though, because she's flipping them, she's getting them all seasoned. Oh my god, I was like, come on, man, I'm trying to eat. But it was worth the wait. Absolutely worth the wait. Those are right up there, my favorite meal. And while I was out today getting the sub, I've thought some good vlog ideas. So I, I am going to start vlogging. I don't want to talk about it yet, but it's, it's not going to be something I can do day to day. It's probably going to be like once a month, once every three weeks, something like that. It's not something I can just do every day, but it's something I do already, kind of. So I want to just bring that into the fold.
Mm. Yeah, the vlogging idea kind of involves me driving around, but where I'm gonna be going, I'm just gonna be doing like just like little tours of here and there, you know, just exploring. Just hanging out. I'm gonna be no good after I eat this. So this Friday, we got another chapter in the Fast and the Furious catalog coming out. Like we needed another one. I didn't resist. Can't make any more movies of Paul Walker, but we gotta keep pumping them out. Hobbs and Shaw with The Rock, Jason Statham, and Idris Elba. I like the cast. I like all three of those guys pretty well. But I'm just, you know, it's the same movie again. I mean, I hope I hope they mix it up a little bit, but I feel like it's gonna be the same formula. But I'm just going for the ride, be fine. Might as well hang out. A good little hangout flick. Now, I was thinking what movie am I gonna review? So kind of leading and I, I don't want to review a Fast and the Furious movie because I'm just going to do the first one and that's going to be boring. Like one of the sequels you kind of got to explain what happened before so I don't really want to do that. Um, I want to mix it up. I looked up um, Idris Elba because he's in, I love, he's a tremendous actor. Um, I can't wait to see. I hope he becomes the next James Bond. I really do. I think it'll be great. Um, but he directed a movie called Yardy. It was on Amazon Prime. I think it was just like an Amazon exclusive. And he, he's the director, which I thought. I would like to see when actors become directors. Sometimes I'm skeptical. But. I want to go. I want to watch that. It's on Amazon Prime. So I'll review that. That'll be up on Thursday. Like. I was anti Jonah Hill. I don't like Jonah Hill as an actor. But. His movie he directed. Mid 90s came out last year. Tremendous. One of, my, one of my favorite movies last year. I talked about yesterday I love coming of age flick. That's an all time coming of age flick right there. That's a good one. If you haven't seen mid 90s. Very good. But yeah, I love y'all. Y'all get Capriati's. If you don't ever see this, get it. But um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited about these vlogs. Um, when I thought about the idea, it just kind of excited me. I like, I, I like, I'm gonna be like doing that, driving around, going places, talking y'all, just sharing some experiences. All right, I got more bites of this, John. I'm gonna wrap that up. Eat that later tonight. I'm pretty full. That's a full. That's a nice sandwich. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Um, I appreciate your time very much. I'll see y'all soon. Be well.